hello friends welcome to asp.net uh, tutorial in this uh, video we will talk about image map control and how to define hotspot for the image map control image map control displays an image and can recognize different parts of the image so when your image contains multiple parts and if you want to respond to each and every part of the image you can define your image map uh, control and display the image in it then using the hotspot you can define different parts of the image the image parts can be marked with hotspot properties there are three types of hotspots available one is circle rectangle and polygon so say for example if your image contains different parts You can define specific location of image using the hotspot say for example here you can define this with the circle and you can define this with the rectangle and this uh, irregular shape you can define with a polygon hotspot by defining the different points along the path when user clicks specific hotspot location we can respond to the clicked location say for example if user clicked on this specific location in the rectangle you can know that user clicked the rectangle part of the image map control and you can respond for the rectangle location click the web designer uses this control to design a high quality navigation for example displaying a car as an image and clicking in a specific part reveals information about the clicked part say for example in a full car image let's state that the user is clicking the side mirror so by using the hotspot you will come to know that user clicked the side mirror and you can take the necessary action the image map control operates on two modes which can be set by the hotspot mode property so the hotspot defines the uh, parts of the image right rectangle circle or irregular shape using the polygon points or again yeah these are all the hotspot mode hotspot and using the hotspot mode you can define how the image map control will respond to the clicked hotspot so the hotspot pro so the hotspot mode property accepts two values one is navigate mode and another one is post back mode in navigate mode we can visit a different document to reveal more information about the clicked location right that's the use of navigate mode say for example if we take our car image example and when user clicks the side mirror the page will get navigated from car that's the home page car dot car dot html to car dot html to side mirror dot html in post back mode we can take necessary action on the server side that means data will be posted to the server and in the server based on the hotspot mode you know which part of the image is clicked so you may have a separate routine for part one part two and part three right now let's go to the demo so here is the image we are going to use for this example for simplicity reason here we have only 
two parts one is a rectangle part and another one is a circle part but uh, you can have even the irregular shape and, uh, using the polygon uh, hotspot method you can uh, define the uh, area of the image say for example uh, if you have a uh, map of a specific country and if you want to define hotspot for uh, each uh, state inside the country you can use the image map control and uh, its uh, hotspot technique all right let's have this uh, image in open state and uh, we'll be having this image here in uh, image map.png and uh, we will copy this uh, image and we will go to our uh, example inside the solution explorer under the images folder we will paste our uh, new image so image map that's the image we are going to use for this uh, example now we will create a new web form And we will call this web fan as IMG03. Image map control. First, we will drag and drop image map control. right so this is the image map control using the image url property so we use this multiple time right so we can define the image for the control so now image map control is ready with uh, the image in it next we will go to a hotspot collection editor now we will add a new hotspot if you click on this side arrow you will see the available hotspots so if you go for a polygon hotspot you can define the coordinates using the uh, comma separated list x y i mean x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 x3 comma y3 likewise you can define set of points that will define the hotspot mode i mean define the uh, area of the image so let me remove this and if you take this circle itself if you want to define hotspot using the polygon you can specify different points one two three four five six seven likewise you can define the hotspot mode i mean the hotspots in the polygon but since we have a separate collection for circle and rectangle we can use it and define the hotspot area or image area more accurately but for polygon hotspot when you are defining the irregular shape uh, the accuracy increases when you are defining more polygon points all right now let's go ahead with a rectangular hotspot so this is our rectangular hotspot and bottom So first we will go for a lift. Lift is from here to here. Lift 38. I am reading the value from here. The first one is the x coordinate and the second one is the y coordinate. You can look at the lower left marked location. 35. That's x coordinate, right? Left is defined by the x coordinate 35. So I am uh, going to. 35 and 
next we will define a right two twenty. So here I'm defining approximate value two twenty five. So we defined left and right using the x coordinate value. Top we can use the y coordinate. Y coordinate is 93. We can go for even 95. And bottom is 232. So if you see, we defined our uh, hotspot mode and the hotspot mode here is a rectangle. Sorry, here we defined the hotspot using the hotspot collection editor. We have one hotspot for now and we named so this is a rectangular hotspot and the hotspot is defined using the bottom left right top property values so here we can specify hotspot mode as navigate and here we are specifying https www dot oracle dot co dot yeah. similarly we will define the next hotspot this time we will use a circle hotspot and here we will specify the center point using the x and y coordinate so this will be approximately here 368, 165, 370, 165, and if we need a radius, we'll go for a calculator here. We will take either x or y coordinate here i'm choosing the x coordinate 284 452 284 right 168 that's the diameter and if we need radius it is 84 now we will go here and specify radius as 84 so it may not be accurate um, there will be a very minor error but usually people will click inside the image map control they won't go with a boundary check so they may either click here or click here thereby we can take them to the specific location that's a oracle.com for circle we will use http yes www.google.co.in so at present we are using navigate mode and when user clicks we will take them to the separate page let's go to the source So hotspot mode is navigate and other properties are defined here. 
so all these properties we set using the property editor so that's all now we can build our solution So if you see the cursor is arrow but once you enter the hotspot mode the cursor changes and in the bottom left you can see which URL it will navigate right all right now let's go back and click on Google so at present we used this as yeah, um, I mean, we set our spot mode as navigate and we navigate it to different page. So, in uh, real world, this will be a complex image, and by using the HTML5 3D support, you can rotate the image and click a different part of the image and uh, uh, move to a more detailed page say for example if we once again take the car example you can rotate the car to the back side and uh, click on the silencer to know more detailed uh, information about the silencer or you can rotate and click on the mirror or tire to navigate to more detailed page so if you click the tire the navigate mode will take you to the car tire information there you will find more information about the car tires all right now we will go back to our example we will go to the design view again and click on the image map control go to properties and go to hotspot collection editor in the rectangle hotspot mode we will define postback mode and we cleared out navigating URL and post back value here we are setting it as O then for circle hotspot we will clear the navigate URL property and set post back value as G so now when you click a rectangle hotspot it will send a value of O to the server and when you click the circle it will send the value of G all right now we will go to the source view and if you see this is our image map control now we cleared the url property and set hotspot mode as so this one still showing navigate right you can go to property editor and change it or you can simply change it here as postback and postback value is O and G that one is right now after this image map we can display a label this will give some uh, uh, server response based on the hotspot clicked location we will go back to design view and we will check once again the navigate mode is changed here it is post back and for second one also post back all right now we will handle the click event for the image map control so for that we are switching to events tab and double clicking on the click so here is our image map one click so here server responds to the uh, clicked area and if you see in our case we are uh, simply checking the 
image map event torques from there we are taking back the post back value we already set it as a property right right post back value o and g that's what here we are checking so if post back value is o we know that uh, uh, the first uh, hotspot is clicked and we state that rectangle clicked and for the second one we state circle is clicked so here we handled it sim in a simple way but uh, in real world there may be a separate function call which will which will do the uh, necessary action so here if you see o rectangle clicked and when you go to g it states circle is clicked in the in other area there is no hotspot so the control will not respond all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye